Hi everyone, wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom Vorach. We start this week the fourth book of the Torah, the book of Bamidbar, which means in the desert. And of course, our parasha as well is called Parashat Bamidbar. God gives the Torah to the Jewish people in the Sinai Desert. And we wonder, of all places, why give it in a desert? Why give it in a wilderness? Why give it in a place that there's uh, no civilization, that there's no history, there's no culture, there's nothing? Wouldn't it be more respectful if God would have given the Torah to the Jewish people in a known place, in, in, in somewhere that, that was a, a location, it was a destination, it was a venue, it was known? No, but He gives it in no man's land. Why? And I think there's a very powerful lesson of here. You see, if God would have given the Torah in a certain city, then the people of that city would have come and said, we have the keys in order how to interpret Torah properly. We are the ones that have the right to distribute, to teach, to learn Torah. If you want Torah, come to us, because after all, God gave the Torah in our city. That would have been true if God gave the Torah in America or in Europe or in any country. The people of that country, the people of that continent would have come and claim, we have the keys, we have the right to interpret and nobody else. And if you want Torah, come to us. And the Torah is teaching us loud and clear, nobody has a monopoly on the Torah. No one has the right to copyright the Torah. Nobody is able to say, we and only we, and if you want it, come to us. No such thing. Our rabbis tell us that it, there are three crowns. The crown of kingship the crown of priesthood, and the crown of Torah. If you want to be a king, there are requirements. If you want to be a king, you have to be from the family of King David, of Davina Melech. Otherwise, sorry, you can't be a king. Same thing if you want to be a priest. You want to be a Kohen? Show us, are you from Aharon Kohen? You have to be from the family of Kohanim. Otherwise, we love you, but you can't be a Kohen. But the third crown, the crown of Torah, there are no requirements. Everybody has a right. Everybody has a piece of this cake. Every one of us, my friends, is an heir to the Torah. The Torah is our inheritance and nobody can box out someone else from being able to come. Sometimes we approach Torah, but we get nervous because who am I? What am I? Where am I from? What's my background? No such thing. God says, doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter where you're from. Doesn't matter what you did. Doesn't matter anything. What matters is that we want to learn. And whoever wants to learn is more than welcome. There was a big rabbi and his name was Rav Shach. And Rav Shach didn't have pedigree. He didn't come from any important family. And when he was uh, being voted in to be the Rosh Yeshiva of Panovich, one of the biggest, largest, most important yeshivas in the world, some people came to him and said, Rabbi, you're going to be the Rosh Yeshiva? But uh, where's the Yichus? Where's the pedigree? Who are you from? No one knows you. You're a nobody. And you know what Rav Shach said? Rav Shach said the Yichus starts here. The line starts here. The pedigree starts with me. Doesn't matter where I'm from. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter before. Today, I want to learn Torah. I am able to have the right. May Hashem bless every one of us to be able to appreciate and to be able to approach with comfort, with ease, not to get intimidated because of who we are, what our background is, to be able to come and demand a right to this beautiful Torah that is our gift. Shabbat Shalom.